Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today for the hashtag A Color Combo 2023. Um, this was started or is hosted by Tammy at Lou Fru Fru Studio. Each month she chooses one basic color. This month it's brown. And then each week she adds another color to it to make a combo. And then you use those two colors on any piece of ephemera, um, collage, paint, whatever, whatever kind of medium you want. She doesn't, that doesn't matter. She's just um, asking that you use the two colors to use up scraps, use up whatever. So this week it's uh, Sienna Brown, because we're doing brown, and then um, Cornflower Blue. Okay, so those are the two colors that um, we're using this week. I am doing watercolor, as you can see. I'm sure that you're shocked. And it's probably not going to be a whole lot new, but um, we're going to do kind of tags instead. And you can, when you tape off, oh, I know, people are asking me what kind of tape. It is just basic um, masking tape because that's what I had um, in my garage. <laughs> so that's what I'm using. I, I may end up buying some better tape because um, every once in a while it does pull up a little bit of the paper, but... It's, it's hard to find a good tape, I know. And then this uh, watercolor paper is just Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. And, um, but you, could, you don't have to um, use this brand. You can use any brand that you want to. I don't, I'm not using an expensive uh, watercolor paper because I don't feel like it's necessary um, with pieces that are going in, into journals. If you do get any like curling, you can put the pieces under books and they'll flatten out. But I really haven't had any trouble. As you guys know, I've been using this for weeks now and um, seem to be, I mean, you know, they have maybe a little bit of wave to them, but I don't think they're bad at all. Oh, this is a just a regular piece of paper. I made a little pocket out of it. Still waiting for my stamps. And then our stickers, we did watercolor on, and these are a little bit of a thicker um, texturized paper. So I think it does take the watercolor well, because as you know, the thinner the paper, the more it's gonna curl and buckle and do all those things. This does um, get a little wave in it, but I, I'm not worried about it. If you are, you can definitely choose to purchase a more expensive watercolor paper. And as far as watercolors go, I am using Arteza. Um, they're kind of basic. I mean, I know these are a little bit nicer than say like um, Crayola, but if all you have is Crayola, use it. I don't, I mean, you can get a lot of the same effects and all that. So I don't see the point in like, don't go out and buy stuff is what I'm saying, unless you really get into it and decide that it's going to be like a main thing of um, part of your craft or whatever. And then these are also Master's Touch. They're just the cheap um, metallics. And I love these. I even went and bought another set with a gift card I got for my birthday. So <clears throat> um, I think they're fantastic. So use what you got. And pull out any watercolors you have. It, this is all just meant to be fun. I mean, that's the way I look at it anyway. I mean, if you were going to get like, super serious about it, then yeah, definitely you might want some nice watercolors. Or nice paper or whatever. But, um, I don't know. I think these, these ones that I have are just fine. So... If you're curious what to get, oh, and my brush is a 16 round, this particular one that I use. But you can use any size brush. If you like a flat brush better, you can use a flat brush. Just whatever you like when you're playing around. You don't have to have the same stuff that I have. So we're just gonna do all these different, kind of like what we've been doing and just kind of see what we get. I am gonna add some of that. Um, this, I would call it copper, but definitely falls into that sort of burnt sienna area, I feel like. And I'm just adding some other little bits of color. So how you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm doing good. Just um, enjoying the windows being opened because it's finally warmed up enough that we can have the windows open. 
but my neighbors are also <laughs> moving cars around and doing things like that. So if you hear it, that's what it is, which is fine. They're, I think they're getting ready to go on like a camping something. I don't know. They got quads out and all kinds of stuff. So I'm thinking that's what they're doing. Okay, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get exactly cornflower blue, but we're going to just kind of play with this and see what, what we come up with. I think cornflower is a little bit... It's a real light blue, I know that. I don't know, it's, it's a color of blue that's kind of hard. It's not got a lot of turquoise in it or anything like that, but this kind of does have a little bit more of that turquoise look. But we're going with it, so it'll be what it is when it's done, right? And also I have the weed whacking and that all happening, lawn mowing. Let's put some salt on that. This is just, um, it's sea salt. I thought I got a coarser one. I told you guys this before than what I actually got. Ooh, but it's doing stuff, so. Um, but the larger the pieces, you kind of just get more of a, um, bloom or whatever you want to call it. So I think you guys are enjoying this. I hope so. I think it's a great way to make ephemera and nothing and something that I hadn't really thought of until I watched Michelle at the Creative Cove. So thank you, Michelle, again. She does fun things and I just never really thought about using I've had watercolor forever and all that and I just never really thought about using it for ephemera pieces. I don't know why, but oh my gosh, I love the backgrounds so much this way. And it's kind of easier to me than a lot of the other stuff. Not that I won't do the other stuff still. I'm just saying, like, why didn't we think of this before? <laughs> right? <laughs> I want some of them a little bit darker, maybe. Or darker as it's lighter. Lighter is what I was thinking in my brain and said darker, so, you know. <laughs> you just never know what's going to come out of my mouth. Oh. Seriously. And, I mean, we can do some that are more just the blue or more just the burnt sienna color. However, we like Yeah, they're pulling quads and all kinds of stuff out of here. Four-wheelers, whatever you call them. I don't know. Everybody calls them something different. Here's that one. That one's cool. We're just going to see where that one goes as it dries. And then the fun part, like you do this and it's fun. And then later when you decorate them, it's fun. I don't know. I just think it's a lot of fun. Fun, fun, and fun, fun. Why don't I add fun a few more times, right? <laughs> Maybe this is the color I need to add into it is a little bit of that more of a navy. <clears throat> I'm not um, an expert in the color mixing thing, I will say. That is for sure. a little bit of that navy in there sorry I get real quiet I guess this would be peaceful peaceful time with Amy because <laughs> her brain can't do more than one thing at a time <clears throat> I don't like to let too much rest on the tape because I have discovered that this tape, obviously, is just 
basic masking tape and um, it bleeds under, you know, the paint does. So I try not to get too soft and wet here when I'm doing these, if I can. I do like the little bit of navy in there. I think that helps a lot. It's not a dark blue by any means, but I think it definitely airs more towards like navy than the kind of turquoisey colors, if you see what I mean. I don't know which one of these I put. I think it's these. This one. I'm also going to take, this really isn't the right color either, but I'm going to use a little bit of this Salty Ocean. It's the closest I have in the, I think, oh wait, you know what else I have that might work? Tumbled glass, I don't think is quite right. That might be a little bit closer. Maybe not a ton, but we're just going to see. Yeah, it falls a little closer to the uh, turquoisey color, too. I'm just getting it everywhere. See where that goes. Almost looks like fireworks in this one. <laughs> Oops, put it in the wrong. Ah, that's what gets my water dirty when I do that. The supposedly clean water is what I'm talking about. Okay, let's use some of the copper color. A little squirt bottle is a huge help when you're water coloring because you can get your um, paints nice and wet that way and then you don't have to try to use as much of your water in a cup or whatever, you know. Y'all know what I'm saying. It'll just give it a little sparkle in those spots, which is kind of fun. Oopsie. Puddles. Don't want puddles. They're no good. Okay. 
This is a good color combination. I mean, all of her color combinations have been great so far. Some of them are a little harder because, ooh, I like that. Um, like there's certain things, I just don't have a lot of certain colors. Well, like this burnt sienna, for example. Other than paint, I went looking and I don't have like anything. So it's like, well, I guess we're painting, whether we want to or not. But you know I want to, so. So I'm gonna. That might be the closest I've come in color so far. I don't know, it might not be quite that gray. But cornflower is a tricky color, I'm gonna say. But these are pretty regardless. <laughs> now I've got something even different, more different. I know though, if you really get into watercolor, there's some great um, people that mix colors, watercolors on Etsy, and they are expensive, those little pans, but oh my goodness, some of the colors are just fantastic. Woofty. Get a little carried away with that. I got my brush very wet there. See, now that those are drying, they're like entirely different, I feel like. That's the really other fun part about um, watercolor is that um, you can keep adding layers, like let it dry and then you can add another layer and you'll get those sort of like when you coffee dye and you know how um, if you add the next layer on top, you get, you can see where the old one is and the new one. It's that same thing which I like just because it, it gives you that layered look. Which I think is fun. Sorry, I really dinged that. Y'all awake? <laughs> this is good napping time. <laughs> like... The sun is shining and the birds are singing. <laughs> the watercolor is quiet until I ding the glass. <laughs> I'm ruining the nap. Just ruining it. Oh. On. Keep getting carried away with that. This is when a, a smaller brush would probably be smarter, but I really like the big one because it just sucks up so much color. Gives you some intensity. But yeah, you could definitely use a smaller brush and that would probably work well.
I don't know that that uh, denim color is right, especially once it oxidizes. It tends towards purple a little bit. I mean, it's fine. It's just probably wouldn't use it again for this. So this is kind of what I've been doing when I'm not doing videos. I will, because I've been playing with some watercolor backgrounds, but it's fun to add um, color, let it dry a little bit, add some more color, and just see where it goes. And the problem is the paper starts to warp, right? Yeah, I definitely don't like that denim because it turns to um, purple. Which if you were wanting purple, that would be fine. But I like these ones, I think, down here a little bit better. I am going to put some salt on a few of those just to see what we get. I don't want them all to have salt, but... It's it under my fingernails. <laughs> all right, I think I'll get these all the way dry, and then I'll come back before I do anything else. So right okay, back. I'm back and they're dry. And so I've got just a paintbrush with nothing on it. I'm just uh, getting the salt off. You can use your picker too, but I thought maybe I could brush it away from everything. Sometimes it won't come off unless you scrub it a little bit. And then we have salt everywhere. You know, these craft projects, I don't know sometimes. <laughs> Who comes up with this stuff? Oh, yeah, people like me. <laughs> I did not come up with this salt thing, though. But it's so cool. Like, it just, it leaves a neat effect. So, I don't know. Just have to get the vacuum out when I'm done, right? And I'm, I left them all taped because I'm still going to do some other stuff to them. And I don't want um, it to get on the white, the parts that are still white underneath the tape. Oh, I did splatter it. I'm sure you can see that with the blue um, when it was a lot more dry so that they wouldn't just go away. So it stayed. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. You let it dry, you add a little something else, let it dry, add a little something else. I think that's fun. And then you can do it however you want. Okay. So I don't know how well you can see. I'll come in a little bit more and see if you can kind of see the blooming up there a little bit. I don't know, it's really hard to tell on camera. This one, you can kind of see it. Kind of just looks speckly from here, but yeah, it's it's really kind of a cool effect. So anyhow, worth trying is what I'm gonna say about that. I'm trying to fix my lights here, sorry. I have to move them out of the way when I'm watercoloring because I keep hitting the lights. Okay, I just have um, a blue, Arteza Inconic 0.4 and more of a sienna brown type color. And I just thought it would be fun to do some mark making on these. Why does it feel like it's so dark? It shouldn't be. It should be plenty light. Okay, 
So I'm just going to, it like we did the other day with the black, it's the same exact idea. We're just using a different color this time instead. And I chose navy. I know that's not cornflower blue, but for one, I don't have one of these in cornflower blue. And two, um, you wouldn't be able to see it very well because it's kind of a light-ish blue where this is a lot darker. So you'll be able to see it better. So I'm just doing lines and doing it fatter at one end than the other. And we did this the other day, so this isn't anything new. And then we can also like take some tape roll, make circles, I'll make a brown one over here maybe. So this is all like what we've been doing, just another idea and I messed it up, but I'm not gonna worry about that because that's kind of all part of it, right? Just did a five there. Might go around these little guys. So you can just doodle away with whatever you like and there's no right or wrong Nobody's gonna say, oh, you shouldn't have done it like that. I mean, they can say that, but <laughs> do you care? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> mm. So I'll just do a little bit of this. I'm not gonna do all of these because we'll be here all day, but I just want you to get an idea of maybe some things to do. Like, I'm just going around where the brown is. Sorry, my cat is snorting and snotting over here, taking a bath. If you can hear him, I don't know. Because he's a little piglet with a smashed face. He reminds me of like a bulldog or something. I don't know. Like, sometimes he's fine, and then other times he's just this snorty, snotty mess. He does have allergies. Cat with allergies. What are you gonna do, right? Okay, so there's just like, you know, some ideas. Of course, get as creative as you like. I'm just gonna take some of these bits of paper. This is just old paper. If you don't have old paper, you can do some coffee dye to book page, um, ink to book page, whatever. You can write your own numbers and stuff. That's all this is. It's just like a little um, composition or notepad that somebody's written numbers and stuff on from who knows what year. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. Um, you can use scrap of paper because there's lots of them out there that have like either numbers or writing you know script you use um, stamps with script all manner of things stickers I have a sticker here I might actually put one more something on there it says fine like it lovely <laughs> and this is just out of a kid's book I think it was um, the Bobsy Twins. I have one that I took apart. So always think, especially kids' books, like these chapter books that um, have the large writing, they're kind of fun to use and just find words to put on. And a lot of times, like the one that I took apart was just falling apart, because especially kids' books, you know, kids are kind of rough on them. And um, so you can find them and they're already falling apart. So I find that less um, sad to take apart, I guess you could say. I'm going to use this uh, sticker. And I just got these free. I have no idea. They came with something. I don't even remember what. They're not my favorite because they're shiny. But we're going to use it because it's a good color. I don't have a ton of this burnt sienna. I think that's more of a red, but 
like I said, we're going with what we got here today. Um, do I want anything else? I actually don't need the tape on anymore. I don't think I'm going to do anything where I need tape because I want to cut this out so that you can see what it looks like more finished and then I might do more. But let's get it out of here first. I mean, they're just really kind of cool. Just even like that, they look cool, right? I mean, you could almost just do like a script stamp on there or something and call it a day. If you're going to, if I was going to do big stamps, I would definitely um, keep the tape on. Because I do tend to go over, I'm going to get my cutter. Hold on. Jingle bells, jingle bells. That's the cat. Scratches his collar and it tingling lings But he hasn't scratched it as bad as I thought. Because when he was a kitten and I tried to put a collar on him, oh my word, all night long. But this one, he's been leaving alone pretty good. I mean, they're going to itch. I, I understand that. But it, <laughs> he would seriously keep us up all night scratching. And you just have to try to get them as even as you can. I mean, let's face it, it's not a perfect science here. Nor do I really worry about it. It's not a perfect science. I'm going to leave a little room at the top because I do want to punch a hole of some sort. Uh, let's see. What do we want? We could even use our cool because this is a thick paper. This is that one that my husband got me for Christmas. Yeah, I like that. And I almost just like it rectangular, but you could definitely do the little slide slants, and that's what I was going to do, but when I use this punch, for some reason, I like it when it's just a rectangle. So that's totally personal preference, and you, you do you, boo. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find my rusty hinge because I think that would work with this. Just to do a little inking around the edge. Sorry, I wasn't thinking about that. So see, this is an entirely different look than what we've been doing. So, just goes to show that um, I don't feel like finding the little, or putting this on the one of those because it gets my fingers all yucky. I just want to get in here. <laughs> yes, I am the ultimate of lazy, okay? <laughs> but you can, uh, yeah. Do it however you want, but I think those are super fun. And just another style of it. I am going to go around this because, like, you know, where we had the tape, that corner doesn't meet. And so I'm just going to do the whole, try to do it a little neater than what I normally do. Not that I can do it perfect because of my hands. Well, I doubt anybody can really draw it totally perfect. So it makes it handmade, right? It's not meant to be all perfect. I do like little overlap. I have no idea what that sound is. I apologize. It's the only thing when you can finally open your windows. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun to make these because it's almost reminiscent of stitching, I feel like. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's put this like this. Oh, it's a lawnmower. It's one of those big writing ones that they use to cut the whole uh, subdivision. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Okay. Let's do one more. 
Um, which one do I want to do? I want to do... I'm gonna do this light colored one over here because I have a bird that I think would be cool on it. I found him while I was looking. And I think if I got him sort of here-ish, it might look good. I don't know. Now I don't have my tape, huh? So we're just gonna wing it, ding it. Let me cut it out first because I know I'm gonna mess it up. about this and like figure out what size all your tags are and cut them but I just kind of cut them based on um, the paint but uh, you do it the way you want to do it okay, I'm going to do a little sketching let's do our little notch first Sorry, I'm all discombobulated. I can't seem to figure out what I'm doing next, huh? What do we got going on here? Folks. This thing kind of drives me batty with that part. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, this way. <laughs> all you can do is laugh. All right. Uh, you could also use a ruler. <laughs> that is a thing you could use, huh? <laughs> oh, ruler schmuller. Who needs perfection? Okay, I do like the circle with this. Are these different? Now they're all about the same. I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit easier to see where I'm drawing. And you could. Um, again. I've started that at the top, huh? I don't know. They're just for fun. this color it's just scribbles it's all just a bunch of scribbles squares circles whatever you feel like on first and then we're gonna do some paper oh my word this one my daughter gave me okay Let's see 
if we can find anything else that we like what it says. Showing some impatience. <laughs> now listen, dear. This is about Christmas. I remember because it's um, kind of a winter one. Let's try, actually, I'm going to try one of these, see if I can find something good that it says. Oh, enjoy the moment. I like that. Enjoy the moment. The bird is enjoying the moment of peace. And this says, I do. Enjoy the moment. I do. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, let me tear this out here a little. We don't need that much. And I'm going to tear this. Here a little bit more. Sticky fingers sticking to everything, even though I've hardly used any glue in this whole thing today. It's not going to draw over that uh, sticker very well. <laughs> I mean, it would drew over it. I don't know how long it'll stay there because um, I'm just going to use this color. I know I'm not crazy about that, how orangey that is up there. So, just want a little. Um, how slippery that plastic is, that ink may not stay on there, but we'll see. Okay, I like that better. So see, you could just go on and on. <laughs> so there's our bird. Enjoy the moment, I do. And then, fine, like it, lovely. <laughs> Anyways, it's just, I just hooked on this watercolor. I'm so glad that you guys are liking it because I can't stop. Like, I just keep thinking of things that would be fun to do with it, so. I know I'm doing a lot of similar things, but I do feel like this is an entirely different look than as I knock everything over. These, for example, right? It's totally different look. And then we have our like these are different, way different than I did one yesterday that was a, a butterfly. It turned out really kind of wacky, but <laughs> I used one of my clips to look like it's holding the papers there. But yeah, and then the tape. So just, I don't know, you could do all kinds of fun stuff. I do like putting little bits of book page and stuff on those. You could do it, you know, any direction or whatever. And I feel like it would be fun. Ooh, I'm adding this. Because I don't really like my little rectangles up there. They're silly. I mean, it's all silly, but you know what I'm saying? I don't like it. <laughs> so, I'm going to fix it. And it's one expensive tag, $16.40. <laughs> I love other people's handwriting. I don't know what that is. hate my own, but I always like other people's handwriting. Things like this. I really like. Okay. Oh, 
I got a really cool little thing. Hold on, hold on. From Dina. Her name is Dina. She lives in Canada. And she sent me the coolest little thing. And maybe next week sometime I will um, do it. So I got it, Dina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't believe you sent it from Canada. But super sweet. But anyway, she got this in a room. She went to London. And the original was like this. And the room key was in this little flap right here. See, or not flap, but like belly band like that. And then when she opened it up, it was all a note, or not a note, a map of London so that she'd know, you know, they would know where they were going and all those kind of things. Oops, I just turned my light off. Um, and then it folds all back up like this. So you could have, what she ended up doing is putting a tag, like making this a pocket. She has it open so I can see sizes and all that jazz. But you would glue this shut, have a tag right here, and then again, you know, it all opens up. It's, it's, it's got some little sticky spots. <laughs> all opens up so you could write in that and everything and just pop it into a pocket of your journal. I mean, it's a little thick, but it would definitely fit into a pocket. Is that not the funnest little thing? So thank you so much, Dina. That is just super fun. And so I will have to wrap my head around it and then I'll try to show you guys how to do it <laughs> next week. So anyway, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope you enjoyed our little, um, burnt sienna or sienna brown however you want to say it and cornflower blue little tags with watercolor and yeah have a great weekend and we'll chat again on monday love you guys bye